Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys some more glitchy stuff. Glitchy stuff that you're not going to find nowhere else on YouTube and you want to know why? Because I'm the money play master. I've been the master. Where have you guys been at, man? Welcome to the King Wolf show. Now, before we get into this, I want to let you guys know that tonight, if you're watching this video early, tonight, June 25th, I want to say like 7 Eastern or 8 Eastern or something like that. Sometime tonight, you can check the EA Twitter page. They're going to live stream and do a deep dive. Now, I just want to let you guys know, hey, keep your expectations in check. Because what I'm thinking, right, they're not, they're not hyping up something special about Madden 21. They're just showing us like the pass rush moves and some running stick things that they brought back from Madden 17 which tells me they don't really have nothing crazy to show because they would hype that up they would be like hey man you guys better tune in because we're about to show you something you've never seen before like like a playground mode that's in nba 2k maybe on the field where you can play like football 4v4s 5v5s and stuff like that you know what i mean so keep your expectations in check maybe they will announce something tonight that's just crazy and mind-boggling but I don't know, man. I'm going to record it. I'll do a video on what they talk about and tell you guys what I really think. I'm going to go ahead and say that so far, Madden 21 looks like Madden 20 plus. Let's just call it how we see it there. It looks like they're bringing old code coding. You know, the juke moves from like Madden 16, 17. They're bringing them back. So they're like they're like pulling a, a fastball. Like they're throwing a curveball at us, man. Like it's I don't know how to explain it. You guys see it once I once. Now that I'm telling you, you're going to be able to see it. Anyway, we're going to be in the Giants. Someone had asked, hey, can you do something from the Giants? Okay, so not a lot of people run the Giants. So I don't know about these formations. Now, this one right here, the gun ace offset is glitchy. And I'm going to explain it to you guys and show you what I mean. Gun ace offset from the Giants playbook. Glitchy. It's not like the regular cover three glitches that I show you. This one's a little bit different, but it's real good against cover three. You can run plays against cover two. There's just not a lot of variety within the ace offset as far as plays. You see, like I'm already scrolling. We're com we keep coming back to the, the comeback scenes and the quick slant and stuff like that. So it's not the greatest set. However, it could be depending on your opponent. So if your opponent loves that cover three, I'll tell you guys, I will not run cover three as my base defense. I will not do it. So my uh, recommendations to you because I lab for hours and hours and hours and I've already logged in so many hours since every Madden that's ever came out right so PA comeback seam against cover three I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to look for now the first phase you can run this play in phases if you want okay shout out to the phase clan first phase is we could try to throw a one play TD with Hollister you could put your fastest tight end with a wide route is as well by the way you know what let's take a break real quick man I just, just want to bring it up real quick because I'm, I know some of y'all haven't Hit the like button, bro. What are you doing, man? Let me get at least 200 likes. You know what I mean, man? Do that right now for me. I'll wait right here. I, I, I got time. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to motion Metcalf over. Now, here are the reads if you run it this way. If you run it this way, the reads are simple. We're going to look for the middle blue first to see what he's doing. If he tracks and he's going to guard the Y route, then we're going to look for the, y, the X route. When you motion from the ace offset, you glitch out the cover three defense just by motioning your wide receiver. And I'm gonna explain to you guys how or what's going on. Now there are adjustments your opponent can make and we're gonna go over that and how to counter that. So once we motion Metcalf over, the defense is gonna start shuffling around. That lets me know that we already glitched out the cover three defense. We wanna be in control of his defense. We don't want him to be in control of his defense if that makes any sense to you guys. Trust me, this is how the glitches and stuff work. So I'm going to leave play action for now, just so you guys can see how bad I hate it. So if I get sacked over and over, you'll realize why I don't use play action in any game uh, that I play for the most part. Maybe I'll run a couple plays, but I usually pay for those. So once we motion Metcalf over, okay, you're going to notice that the defense is going to shuffle around. Now, my first read is to actually watch the middle blue because he's going to give the play away. And what I mean by that is if the cover three is glitched in the middle blue, if he doesn't respond... Y route over the top for a touchdown, easy touchdown. If he does play back, then I'm looking for X, then B. B is going to become wide open or X is going to be wide, wide open 100% of the time. I'm going to go ahead and pass this. He's playing backwards. There's X. These guys leave their assignments. Here's B. So this is going to happen 100% of the time. One of the routes is going to be open. We're going to motion him over. I'm going to leave play action just so you guys can see. Thug life, okay? We're going to snap the ball. 
you see why I hate play action? There's X, I already had X, they leave their assignments. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. X, you can hit X because the clouds and the purples, they're not gonna react to him in time. I don't know, this might be a touchdown, man. This might be a touchdown. I'm still watching that middle blue. It just depends on who the middle blue is. This is a touchdown. This is what I mean. You glitch out cover three this way, and that's a touchdown right over the top. So, wait, really? That was supposed to be a touchdown, bro. Let's do it again. So if he's in the middle like that, well, actually he's coming, okay. He, if he stays down, then it's a touchdown. But if he comes back up, he's probably gonna play it. So I'm already looking for X, Y, and B. So X, look, 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 the comeback route. Oh, that that just, uh, just so you guys know, that's why I cancel play action too as well, because I can break to those routes faster because I'm not used to playing on play action a lot. I have to wait for all those animations before I can look for the X route. But let's say I cancel play action, right? And you don't want to throw comeback routes with Russell Wilson. I don't know what it is in the game, but he is the worst at throwing comeback routes. So here we go again. We're just going to be looking for the middle blue. It looks like he's going to play. Boom, he's playing it. This guy and Russell Wilson. It could be the timing that, that I always throw the low ball. So it could just be the timing on my part. I'm just so used to the Mahomes timing that I can't get this one right. So I'm gonna cancel play action just so you guys can see what I mean. Right here, boom. Could just be on the, nope, I waited. I waited and he still can't throw that comeback route. But Mahomes can hit that nine times out of 10. I'm not gonna low ball, I'm just gonna throw it at the comeback route. Here we go again. Okay, so you can't lowball it because Russell Wilson's lowball throw is like negative five. So be careful. I'm going to cancel play action again. Right here could be a touchdown. I know the double A gap cover three is a touchdown. Some of these are going to be touchdowns as well. Like this one. That's another touch. Well, this is Hollister. Oh my God, I can't get into the end zone with this guy. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me show you guys the B route. In every situation, for the most part, the B route is going to get open. So watch, if you just give it some time, everybody leaves their assignments and B is gonna become open. I'm not gonna have the time. Leaves his assignment, B, okay? Possession catch it, don't be the hero. Don't be like me, okay? Let me do that uh, ridiculous play. Motion him over again, this could be a touchdown, depends on where the, you see that glitchy stuff right there? I know you saw it. I'm leaving play action. Actually, he's actually playing this, man. Oh, I couldn't throw that. This is why I don't use play action, homies. I don't use play action. Oh my God, I always get sacked, bro. With that instant sheds. Okay, I'm gonna run it one more time for you guys and we're gonna move on to how to run it another way. So as we motion him over here, I'm gonna look for the B route this time. I know I got X, but I'm gonna look for B unless this is a touchdown. And this is a touchdown. Actually, it's not a touchdown because Ho Hollister, really? But this guy's letting me down the whole video, but he's open. Okay, one more time so we can look for the B route, okay? Here we go, same thing. We're gonna look for the B route this time. I want you guys to see how they leave their assignments. Right here, boom. There they go. This guy's open all the time. Now, now let's put some adjustments out there, okay? So you guys can see in certain situations, depending on the adjustments, maybe nothing works. Maybe we bring this guy over, we cancel play action and nothing's gonna be open. Everybody's gonna play their position according to what they're supposed to do. So right here, we're gonna look for X is covered, Beast right there covered, right? So whenever you come across that, because I'm not gonna let you run that over and over on me, right? They put the adjustments out there. What I want you to do next is, you're gonna streak Y, streak A, streak B, okay? And then you're gonna motion Metcalf over, and when you do that, you snap the ball before he gets planted on the left side about right here. This is all you gotta do, look at that. Did you see that? Bro, did you see that? All you're gonna do is streak everybody. And then motion Metcalf over, okay? Don't let him get set right here. That's it, just don't let him get set. That's like the most important part of this play is to not let him get set. I'm the money play master. Now I'm gonna show you guys a real quick play that you can run against cover two defense. It's from the same formation. It's not really glitchy. It's just something you can blend in. Actually, it is kind of glitchy. So why sell if you if you're on the right hash, you flip the play, you want your red play art going left, Y sell against cover two defense. Simple concept, bro. Okay, all you're gonna do is block the running back, uh, put A on a streak and drag B. Uh, this is how I would run it. Make sure you blocking people. 
and make sure you're double teaming the left side. Make sure you're setting up your pass protection. But what you wanna do is you wanna motion lock it in. Once it gets close to the line, you snap the ball. I think I snapped it too early, bro. But what you're looking for is this guy right here, okay? Now, typically what happens is the guy that's playing man against him is gonna break off and he's gonna start playing uh, the middle route or whoever goes up the field. So it would be lock it. So we're gonna streak lock it. Matter of fact, streak lock it, streak A. So it looked like this, okay? And then motion this guy. Make sure you set your pass protection up. You're going left. Make sure you're double teaming left and then snap the ball once he gets there. Yeah, that's that's the good one right there. That's the one I'm looking for. And he didn't actually break off there, but that's the route you're looking for. Maybe if you have a faster tight end, better tight end than what I got right there, you're gonna be okay. Um, if you want to force the zone play, you could put RB. I wanna say putting RB here and leaving A where he's at might help you a little bit. I didn't double team this guy. Snap the ball like this. Okay, yeah, so that's not, yeah, it does. There it goes. That is the look I'm looking for right there. You see him break off like he's gonna dodge his assignment. And that's what's gonna happen if you run it that way. So that's just a little bonus I wanna throw in there for you guys. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Peace.